Building tech products are becoming more and more challenging those days, with all the innovation happening in the industry. Being agile, flexible, so companies react based on customer requirements and adapt to the market, and then quickly deliver values to the customers. Hi guys, how's it going? Cloud Rose here. I'm a product manager and always enjoy reading books, especially those on how to build great products. Recently, I bought a book. It's called Inspired. We find the answers to some of the biggest questions about being a product manager. By the way, if you're new here, every week I'm making videos about technologies, sharing experiences about learning and being a product manager, then summarizing those key ideas within 10 minutes, just like this one. The book is all about creating tech products that customers love. So Marty includes lots of personal stories of building successful products with some top tech companies such as HP, Apple, Google, Netflix, etc. The book contains five parts: lessons from top tech companies, the right people, product, process, and culture. Building great products is hard. This is not just me saying this. Marty Kagan also started one of his name product talks with this. The book opens with the raw definition of technology-powered products and services. Traditionally, people would think tech products are consumer service products built with technologies. For instance, e-commerce sites such as eBay and Amazon, social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, or services serve technologies. For example, Salesforce, Oracle database. Or Microsoft Office. In Marty's vision, and it is very true in today's world, the definition expands to most products in our daily lives, even sometimes without realizing it. Technology-powered products don't need to be purely digital. It could be as simple as finding a ride quickly from one of those mobile services, chat with friends online on various platforms, or simply getting together with family, watching a movie online. Through a streaming platform. So the vision of the book is to focus on the unique issues and challenges associated with building technology-powered products, services, and experiences. The root cause of failed product efforts is directly related to how an individual product team works. A failed product team focuses on the output rather than the impact, aka key results. The output is the outcome of each step in the process of how they build products. A traditional process, including having ideas, building business cases, and analyzing the requirements, then jumping into the product building process, which covers the product life cycle sequentially from designing, building, testing, and deployment. The consequence of this process. As Marty often states throughout the book, is that a team acts as mercenaries. Not missionaries. There's no way to validate new ideas, make sure it's feasible, and it would bring true value to the customers. It often takes time to integrate the work, but the outcome would eventually end up with delivering a product that a company wants rather than what their customers want. However, successful product teams are more agile, flexible, and customer-driven. Customer-driven means the product team deals with risk. Which includes a value proposition, usability, feasibility, and business viability. Before they build their solutions, the process would contain a couple of iterations in different areas: user research, design discussions, and engineering discussions. Sometimes the design discussion and engineering discussion will be escalated to a broader team to get feedback, learn, and share experiences, so the product efforts could be reused next time if other teams are building similar features. More importantly, those discussions are fully embodied by product design and engineering teams side by side, so they define the product vision and product definition. The solutions that resolve underlying problems brought by these discussions, aka product features, are measured by key results and the business impact of the product feature. This is very appealing to top tech companies in today's world. Being agile, flexible, and customer-driven, meaning they could react based on customer needs and adapt to the ever-changing market quickly. Lots of companies are building products using minimal viable product, also called MVP, to quickly evaluate whether the product is loved by the customers. They do this through focus groups. 
and customer interviews. That's a key part of product managers in the loop is to work with the right people. The art of product management is the art of life itself. Surround yourself by great people, focus on your mojo, and build great stuff with integrity. A successful product team is a team of missionary, not mercenary. Being a product manager is about coordinating with different teams and different people. In Marty's definition, a product manager needs to be a true believer in the product vision to bring energy to the team and help the team overcome challenges. A product manager has to be skilled in both qualitative and quantitative skills. A successful product manager is professionally data-driven, and would also deeply understand their business, market, and industry, as well as their customers. The goal of working with the right people is to achieve product success. The product is built on top of the product vision. In Marty's view, the product vision has a time horizon of two to five years. A product vision is unlike the company mission, but it is pervasive enough to be a future. That inspires a team to want to help to make this vision a reality. An especial goal breaks down to a few sets of smaller goals, and each goal is measured by the key results. The notion of objective key results, aka OKR, is widely used in top tech companies. The OKR technique is a tool for management, focus, and alignment. It measures performance by results and drives the team towards the product success. About OKR, there's also a great book called Major What Matters by John Doerr. It describes how OKR works in these giant organizations or smaller agile startups, where the concrete use cases and scenarios will definitely cover it in another video for the next time. Product discovery, framing, planning, ideation, prototyping, and testing techniques. Working with different teams to prove product value. Convey the idea in a better way. Validate the hypothesis and come up with solutions. Marty explained that for this to happen, a product manager needs to spend time with the engineering team, other key stakeholders, and customers, while making sure that a final product works for all the customers on a larger scale. And that is the process to ensure the product team builds a successful product that is loved by the customers. Top reasons for lots of innovation. Or organizations missing customer-centric culture, misplacing product vision and strategy, missing visionary and collaboratively product managers, among other things, also lack of stable teams. A good product manager empowers the product team by contributing to the success of others. It is a great help to establishing a strong product culture. A strong product culture comes along two dimensions. The first dimension is whether the company can consistently innovate to develop viable solutions for their customers. The second dimension is execution. It doesn't matter how great the ideas are, if you can't get a shippable version of a product delivered to your customers. In Marty's experience working with companies on this planet, only a few companies are strong both at innovation and execution. He hopes the product teams assist themselves along these dimensions of innovation and execution, knowing where they would like to be as a team or as a company. Finally, great products delight customers. Customer delight goes beyond shaping the success of great products. Customers are the source of energy for most successful tech companies on the planet, like Google, Apple. And Microsoft. If you enjoyed this review, sweet. You may also want to check out other ones in the channel. Subscribe if you want to follow along. New videos coming every week. Thanks for watching. Till then, I will see you guys in the next one.